fight you. But you are too dangerous to let go. I will do what I must. I'm sorry. Hello? Weren't you in your room? I was playing. Do you want to play with me? Huh. Never mind. Was, but mom wait do you think you could read me a story tonight I can what about a little night Come on behalf of a legend, a being of tales and myth. He has taken an interest in your story. We know of your grief concerning your parents' indifference. But their apathy can be cured. How? I will show you. When you have grown, seek me out. But Yuri, how will I recognize you? And why can't I just come now? Until we meet again. Good morning. We are eating. Great. I'm going to need a meal before my journey. Mom, 
Dad, I know that you love me, even if you don't understand it. I wish I could explain. I wish you actually cared. That's all right. <clears throat> you don't even know what's outside of this house, but I need to. Okay. Yuri, what are you doing laying about? Your parents aren't going to save themselves. What do I have to do? Grab your stuff. We haven't time. It's good. Come to on now, follow me. It has to happen at the right time, or he's going to have a meltdown. So, when am I going to meet this great mythical person? Person? Oh no, he's not that at all. Here, drink this. It will warm you up. It's not that cold. Not yet. That's amazing. Yep, follow me. What is this? You'll see. What was in that drink? Onar, I've waited a long time to become part of this story. You're the snowman. The narrator from all the winter stories. Stories. Many names I have been given. Each winter a new name, a new shape, but no longer. My time has melted away. The Yuletide has ended and there is no man left to name me. Except for you. Me? A presence like yours has been absent for many lifetimes. I don't understand. Neither do I. I supposed it was just time. Time for what? To end this era of indifference. But how am I supposed to do that? With your heart. It's in who you are. You're the only one to see what you see. You're the only one strong enough. But there is a story you must be told first. A story overlooked until it was too late. An age ago, before this future came to pass, before the great apathy this world had a past, the people of Earth were passionate and proud, through science and machines all was allowed. At times this pride proved too much to handle, conflict and wars were how it was settled. During the height of war, a machine was created, a mysterious machine, a terror that waited. No man, woman, or child knew of its purpose, and the single fact was what would disturb us. To the relief of its handlers, the device was never used. The war ended and the world slowly continued to move. So it was hidden, forgotten, nestled in a crate, in the dark and moved from place to place. The machine will be safe now, said those in the know. So it was stored in a building somewhere out in the snow. 
behind a large mountain with a single cave. To the world it was secret, that's how it would remain. Except there was one that planned to get in the way. Inside of that mountain, in the back of the cave, was a legend who had been waiting for this day. A mystery all in himself, not a Grinch, but a thief. His title was captain, but commanded no men, no fleet. He was the Christmas pirate, the only to live. From Captain Johnny, not a box could be hidden. Each Christmas, instead of tucking themselves away, he and his wife spent the night taking the gifts of others like prey. But plunders only satisfied in the moment. Like a growing stomach, their desires were moaning. Year after year, bigger, better, until the fateful Christmas when Johnny discovered the treasure. He found the hidden building in the snow, and upon inspection, his curiosity began to grow. An ultimate mystery contained in a box, the crowning apogee for which he had sought. This one last deal to satisfy the hunger, and it did. For after that, there was Christmas no longer. When news of the machine's disappearance broke, the people fell victim to chaos and woe. Theories and news, hate and fear, the silver for gold, it was everywhere. Speculation was overbearing. What happened? Nothing happened, and that's exactly it. The people grew tired in all the excitement. They just didn't want to care anymore. So using various methods, their passion was destroyed. It became too much for anyone to handle. They shut off, everything stopped, the child in each child was tranquil. As each generation passed, it took complete control, and the greatness of apathy was all that was left in the world. Until you. But they chose. How could anyone fix that? You do not have to make them care. In Johnny's Mountain, the machine sits. For so long, so much human concern was poured into it. Fear, hate, and love. It absorbed a world of passion, and there it's held waiting for you to let it out again. If I don't return, please help my parents understand. If you do this, they will finally understand. It's Christmas. I have come to- I know why you're here. You've come to steal my treasure. I'm not. I don't want your dusty relics. Good luck stealing anything while I'm around, thief. I'm not a thief. Even now, no one comes for my treasure. They were presents, not treasure. What would you know about it? I wish I knew your world, but I don't think you understood. A gift isn't a sacrifice. It's what it takes to give. And what it means for somebody to do that for you. You can't steal that. You blame me, don't you? I have felt pain and joy like no man has ever felt. Yet I cannot leave this cave. I have lived on the suck spirit of this world, and I am at fault. I think that it wasn't you that took the hearts from men. I'm going to fix this. For everyone. You not least of all. <clears throat> Stop! You can't! What will happen? I don't know. Please! I could die! star
stuck in the mud Afraid of some love Heaven knows that it's time For heaven's sake, don't you say never mind I checked twice, you are mine still stand you know who just I am go trample some leaves it's the sound that you need I like this sleepy nest keeps me still sticks with me the best don't act like, like you signed some dark dotted line Others would just keep me to leave me except you and your family. All my body weighs me down. Makes a broken, brittle sound You effortlessly And dive in after me At first it's all black Then it hits a release of psych I wake in and awe Watch you unclench your jaw Just keep me to leave me believing in what they did not really feel. It's really Returned, but they understood that sometimes a gift costs more than it should. As the fresh snow fell and cold chilled their bones, they were filled with thanks and more grief than their hearts could hold. On that winter night, everything changed from the bleakness that had been new life now sprang. It crossed around the globe with unprecedented speed, and it brought back the child and each child asleep. When they awoke in the morning with new eyes, they saw the present that Onar had given them all. Yeah.